the world around her shows her that she is a traitor and that's the world that you have to live in as a whistleblower that's what that's what makes whistleblowers so unique and so different from everyone else is that you have to accept that you are the villain you're crazy you're the joker you watch the world burn um that's a part of all of us and you have to embrace that because you're you're single-handedly changing the world i mean not single-handedly there's so so many wheels so many gears so many things that go into place but i mean you you played a, a an important role that gets that gets difficult um one thing i could tell you one of the things that used to scare me when i first started out with that with whistleblowing was the uh when you type in Google Chrome, I'm lazy, so I use Chrome, I'm sorry, but it's just, use the search bar, the address bar for searching. But uh, you type in whistleblower, the very first auto-suggest, auto-suggestion is uh, whistleblower found dead. And so most, you know, I, I'm one, I, I can name off more than the average person can. Most people can get it at least, you know, Manning or Snowden or get the general idea of what happened in there. But, uh, you know, for the most part, whistleblowers don't make it that far. They're not even that far. I mean, the, the, those are like the LeBron James and, and Kobe Bryant's of our fucking, uh, not me, I'm like the, whoever the fuck is, <laughs> Iverson, I guess, who's decent, but like, I mean, good, just not legendary, I guess, in that way. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And so there's no real... What I originally started blogging for is because there's no real like instruction manual. Nobody teaches you how to be a whistleblower. A lot of what I've written is how to be a whistleblower, why to be a whistleblower, because there, there's no resources. There are, in a way. I've talked to a lot of them. I, they all know who I am. <laughs> but like the Government Accountability Project, for example, they only have so much funding and they've only got so much that they can do. And I've, you know, I've worked with them a few times, but it's I've also worked with cannabis radio <laughs> and their their podcast system a few times I've, I've worked with the wolf of weed street i've worked with all sorts of people i've worked with <laughs> the attorney generals and you know it doesn't at the end of the day you just gotta you gotta find a way to be you and and live this live in this alternative world where <laughs> you know you're not crazy where you're normal and you just live a different way than everybody else so that is basically how I started working from home. That is how I started freelancing, learning how to do it on my own because I just, you know, my goal was to take down Bank of America, call it a naive goal. Uh, one day maybe I will be responsible for it, but you know, in the meantime, I've got to live, I've got to survive, I've got to keep things going. And so uh, I, I, I started doing a lot of journalistic work initially and last it was 2014 it was December of 2014 was when I went to jail I was held in contempt of court and went to uh, Tent City got out in 2015 sold the story to High Times went back in again got out and it was because I had been sued for, by my old executive from you know, a few years prior, who still, he can't get a job. Neither one of us can get a real job anymore. Uh, I may do. I'm trying to figure out my life and figure things out. But he, you know, is still stuck in the old ways. So he hired a piece. He spent more money than I've made. <laughs> Just hiring lawyers and, and reputation management services, SEO stuff. And I can't mention his name, but... You can look it up, it's not hard to find. Those court records are hilarious, by the way. If you ever have a chance, uh, find my court records at the Mesa Court. It's some funny, funny stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's... Being a whistleblower, it's funny, you know, I, I built up at the time. I, I built up my freelance career, I built up my, my website. I had all sorts of organic search traffic coming in, like 1,500 hits a day. And it was just gone, I woke up one day. and. That whistleblower life got back up to me. I thought I had slid through and avoided all the, you know, I, I watched Manning. I knew how to not be in trouble, not be where he's at. I would have been there otherwise where she's at. And, uh, you know, I got to watch Snowden and I got to see all these Barrett Brown, uh, all the Adons who have ever had any kind of problems. 
and I've, I mean, I've, I've been, I was there for Your Ain't on News. I was there for a lot of stuff. But uh, going back to the BART stuff and the Occupy, and, man. I see a lot of stuff as a whistleblower, though. I still believe in it. I still believe in the good of people. Um, it still defines my life. I'm not, I don't regret anything. And uh, yeah, if you ever decide you want to become a whistleblower, you're, I'm very easy to find. Just reach out. You're more than welcome. Um, if you have any questions on it, I love, love talking to people about it. Um, but yeah, until then, I hope you. this is an informative whistleblowing type of video for you. And Lorraine Murphy, I'm going to post it <laughs> in your Facebook group <laughs> and be double self-promotional. But uh, yeah. It is relevant to still. It will always be relevant whistleblowing because it's 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 an essential part of a balanced breakfast. And my name is Brian Penny, and I am a proud whistleblower. And I hope that you too become one. That was my very first blog with the Huffington Post: is that I am a bank whistleblower, and you can be one too. Or my second one. I think my first one was actually convincing, was whistleblowing, <laughs> blowing the whistle. Uh, but yeah, check out the street, Huffington Post, uh, Life Hack. There's a lot of places where I've written about whistleblowing, Fast Company. Um, it's a fun time though. I've, I've, I would not change a thing. There's a lot of things that I don't like about my life, but that would have been true on either side. At least I have a really cool story. Tons of cool stories. I'd have to make a whole YouTube channel based off of it. But uh, anyway, nice talking to you guys. My name is Brian Penny, whistleblower extraordinaire. <laughs> have a great day.